My name is Nav Bassi and I'm the university's chief information security officer and I'm here today to answer your questions. So please ask me anything. Our cybersecurity tips are designed to protect you and your information. So it really doesn't matter whether you're studying from home or on campus. The tips are relevant because it's all about your data and how to ensure that only those who are authorized can access it. Some cybersecurity professionals do debate the value of having antivirus software, but I absolutely recommend it. I think that there's a lot of different ways you can get compromised and antivirus is just a really good safety precaution to have. Think about all of the information systems and technologies that you use on a regular basis and how much information they have about you. Now think about what happens if somebody gets access to those systems and impersonates you or your data. That's what cybersecurity is all about. The role is to manage the university's information security program. And if you want to know specifics, you can take a look at the information security policy because I often act as a delegate for the chief information officer when it comes to information security related matters. One of the things that people do to try to break into accounts is called brute forcing. And what that means is they use a dictionary of a lot of common passwords to try to guess them really quickly using computer power. Strong passwords help defeat this technique. In an era of multiple passwords, a password manager is a must. So this is a utility or software tool that'll let you actually store multiple passwords, even generate passwords for you. The catch is that you have to have a strong password for the password manager. It's a vast field. There's a lot of different types of jobs within the cybersecurity field. So if you have specific questions, I can try to address those. But in a nutshell, it's a lot of learning around all of the risks and threats and making balanced decisions about how to guard against them. No way, not at all. In fact, because of how broad the cybersecurity field is, pretty much any discipline, any degree can get you into this field if that's what you want to do. So absolutely, there's no need for a comp sci or engineering background to be a successful cybersecurity professional. I like to use a sentence, something that's easy for me to remember, but hard for a computer to computationally break. A long passphrase is a strong passphrase. And if you speak multiple languages, all the better. Mix it up. I wouldn't say it's easy for hackers to hack your webcam and spy on you, but it has happened and there's multiple news stories out there about the situation. There's just lots of ways into a computer. And so the simplest way to answer your question is to say, I keep mine covered. Cybersecurity consists of three pillars, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Now, even though confidentiality tends to get all the attention, integrity matters. For example, the integrity of your grades is very important. You wouldn't want them altered or manipulated. Thank you so much for your questions and your engagement. Really appreciate it. I hope that you found it useful. And if you have any more questions, don't hesitate to send us a message. Otherwise, remember to enter the UVic CyberAware Cybersecurity Awareness Contest and win a prize. Promise, no scam.